And today is Brazos County Adoption Day and four local families got a little bigger today. Sunny Sai was there for the special celebration of four children who found their forever families. I'm getting adopted today. <laughs> he said it himself. Andres Nance has found his forever family. My experience is um, um, of them taking care of me and being me doing good and it's I came here a long time oh, for I've been here been with them for over three years. Andres's adoption process took more than two and a half years. He first met Mr. and Mrs. Nance in April of 2018. We took him into our house and uh, CPS uh, helped us uh, uh, lay the groundwork for adoption and then we uh, uh, got a little interrupted there so we had to go for foster care and then we ended up now adopting. The Nance family encourages you to look into the process to save a child's life. Some of the children are falling through the cracks and it will, it will really help with adoption. Andres isn't the only one getting his forever home today. Three other families are growing. It feels so wonderful, so wonderful. We all know that to be involved with CPS is something tra traumatic had to take place. So to be here and having a happy ending where we are celebrating, everybody's with smiles, blowing horns, balloons, it's such a wonderful occasion. In the last year, 34 children were adopted in the Brazos County. This is a, a Claritin call, if you would say, to the community that if you do have the desire to be a licensed foster or adopt home, Please look into that, look into the research so that you become licensed, so that you can take in one of these kids that are waiting on their forever families. You do have to be licensed to be a foster to adopt parent. Once you are licensed, CPS foster and adoption workers will work with you on the next step of the process. In College Station, Sunnyside, KAGS News. I teared up a bit there. That was awesome. At the end of September, 13 children in the Brazos County were still waiting to be adopted. To learn more about how you can foster and adopt, just visit kagstv.com.